Hey everybody, welcome to Wright Farms. Today, I'm gonna to be back in the garden. Wanted to show you uh, some of the stuff since the last time we've been in here. Some of the pumpkins have uh, kind of rotted early, which I thought would happen since I planted them too early, but I was hoping they'd keep growing and get a little bit bigger and could have a little bit more time with them. But I have a few, so when those get ready, we'll probably just do jack-o'-lanterns with the kids a little bit early, that's fine. They'll love it and then we'll go buy some eventually. But the one thing I'm super happy with, and it hasn't produced yet, is this okra though. Like I said, we planted this late. But, I mean, look at that. These things are huge. So it's getting ready to, I mean, you can see some in there starting. So hopefully here shortly we'll have some. I'm gonna show you uh, the pumpkins. First, I wanna show you the ones that rotted on us early, which it's a complete bummer, but that's all right. It happens. So, now there's those. Well, I'll show you that one. Yeah. So hopefully the chickens will come over here and eat that. But, on a better note, not to show just the unsuccessful ones. And I'm gonna get out here, pick all those green beans right there. The plants. I feed them to the pigs and then I gotta go to that garden right there and clean that up so we can get ready for fall planting. There's a few things we're gonna replant and all that but this is this makes me happy because these are now coming here a little bit later. It's a pretty big pumpkin and there's one more it's solid green still. There you go. Now you can see it. Boom. So yeah, we're gonna do that. But I'm gonna pick the peas or green beans, green beans. There's purple ones in there. Those were absolutely beautiful. I loved them. They're cool. I don't know if we've cooked them. I know they canned them. Uh, absolutely loved them. So I got three rows of those. I'm gonna pick out real quick and throw to the pigs so they'll not go to waste. I'm gonna hop to that. Absolutely beautiful though. Pig food. Check out that pile. Looks pretty big. So we try to waste as little as we can here. So either it becomes animal food or compost, which then we'll put back into this garden later. But this is gonna go to the pigs and they'll feed them. So it's not wasteful. The pigs will love it. They'll Definitely be jumping on them beans. And they they actually love plants. It's weird because we'll throw weeds, all sorts of plants, and I love it. I'm going to show you the pigs. That might take two trips. I'm going to try throwing it over there for them. And then we'll jump in there with the pigs. And then I'm going to go pick some more plants to feed them too. Hopefully give them a couple snacks for the night. Check this out. So we pulled the watermelons a while ago. Found that one. This I like this watermelon. I don't remember what the name is. I'll leave a link to it down below though just because I like this one because once the skin turns yellow orange it's good to go you knew it but the pigs will absolutely love this so watch this well that one doesn't that one knows more is coming so let me go get the rest of that stuff for them found that while I was coming up here to set this up but, pigs love all the little scraps.
I'll show how massive these guys are. Girl, yeah, girls are. Come here, baby. Oh, come here. Come here. No, you can't eat my hand. Look. These are some happy pigs. They get buffets all the time. I, I don't know. It's fun. They're happy. It, this was full. It, it drains out fairly quick. So we have to fill it up regularly for them. They're happy to have some mud again. Let's get some happy pigs. I want to show something so right where I was standing all this right here was all pumpkin vines and they done pretty good these were uh, like sugar pie pumpkins smaller pumpkins for baking I'll show you one that's still on the vine and I kept all all of or I killed all of it but one vine and so it's little pumpkins like that and I had planted seeds throughout this and that plant right here was not coming up until I pulled these pumpkins. So it's kind of awesome. Since I pulled back all the pumpkin plants, stuff is coming up that wasn't here before. It's pretty cool. And then something else that I like that happened, and I gotta weed thin these out to give uh, the other plants some chance at um, actually producing, because it's a little too thick and some of them are dying off. And I don't want to kill off all the plants yet though, because look. Got another spaghetti squash. We've gotten three or four of these. I absolutely love them. My wife makes like spaghetti stuff out of them. But so I'm gonna thin out a little bit in there. I'll probably leave a little bit for right now though. Because like I said, there's a few plants still producing. So I'm gonna try weeding out the ones that aren't so that the ones that are can produce heavier for me. I'm getting in there. Alright. So I could have pulled more, I'll show you behind me. I did pull out a decent bit. I'll show you the first pile. And there it is. But I found my garden's doing, it's like come into a second wind. A lot of the plants that didn't do anything, they all of a sudden came alive. So I don't know the variety, whatever. Here's a second uh, scrap pile. So the spaghetti squash was cool. I mean, that's a one plant, not totally worth keeping. It for one fruit but it's so close to the end of it that I want to keep it because it ain't gonna be much longer for it to be edible so I'm gonna leave it on there but I found one more orange butternut squash we've eaten a couple of them they were delicious so again definitely want to let this plant finish it just cuz I mean it's right there and we're not gonna be using this soil immediately but while I'm walking through these vines I found something well, a few somethings that made me really excited. And I gotta go look at my notes again to see what kind of pumpkins these are. I got those pumpkins growing, right? And they're they're kicking off and they're doing great. But while looking through, I found this long vine. And it is growing. So there's a good bit of them so I'm really excited those pumpkins so again I have to look at my notes to see what I planted here because it's been a long time since I planted them so I'm gonna get the rest of those weeds or not weeds but the dead plants I pulled out throw them to the pigs I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit keep growing it's exciting seeing that my plants are catching a second wind on oh, there's some I'm trying to remember where they were it's hard to see them they blend in little zucchinis they caught a second one I picked a good bit but they didn't have a good like shelf life they rotted so fast I don't even think we had them in the house for a week and they went to liquid like that so I'm hoping I'm gonna harvest these ones and I'm gonna cook them that day or within a day cuz I love zucchini it's so yummy but um so I'm gonna feed the pigs the rest of that and I'll show you that we're going to go back up there. It's about to rain, too. All right, guys. I just wanted to show you one more time the pigs eating. They jumped way back on it once uh, I brought the squash plants up here. So they're definitely loving it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you.
see you guys on the next video. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe down below. We have uh, other social media, Facebook and Instagram and stuff. You want to check us out down there. We don't post terribly too much. Terrible about remembering to take photos. But anyways, hope you all have a great video. We will see you on the next video. Sorry, that pig looked like it was going to eat me. So, see y'all.